Hey there, this is Sumit. So I am a front-end web developer and as always I am super excited to share this video. So in this tutorial and videos I will be uploading in future, we will explore how we can compile low-level languages like C, C++ or Rust into WebAssembly. You know there are so many videos on WebAssembly uh, explaining WebAssembly do this, WebAssembly do that. But you will find very few videos on YouTube that could actually help you to create something. Okay, so so this video is just a base or foundation for a future video in this video we'll start with very simple hello world program and then we'll see how we can instantiate a web assembly module if we somehow manage to convert low level language and language like python into web assembly then web assembly is easily understood by web browser so ultimately we can run these low level language in our web browser so in this uh, video we're gonna use this tool chain mscripton so mscripton contain two part one is mscripton itself and another is emsdk so mscripton provide different header file which we can import in our low level code imagine you are writing logic for a html5 game so you can uh, import html5 library uh, i mean html5 header file from mscripton and emsdk is implemented using python you know we can write different script in terminal to compile c c++ program so uh, mscripton is used to compile c c++ into WebAssembly. now let me tell you how this entire compilation process works so mscripton uses two thing one is c lang and another is llvm llvm is low level virtual machine it is a powerful tool you know you can create your own language using llvm so uh, imagine this is your c c++ code so first step is to convert this code into intermediate code so first we are optimizing this code so we can finally compile optimized code into web assembly in this part we use c lang and it is called front end part so this is first part in second part we finally compile uh, optimized code into web assembly here we use llvm so llvm uh, is a low level virtual machine and this step is called backend step so this is backend step if i use these terms in this video so this is what i meant if i'm using word module then i'm probably talking about web assembly module i'm talking about a uh, compiled version of c plus plus i'm talking about dot wasm file if i use word memory then i'm talking about web assembly memory so web assembly memories are just like javascript typed array so what are javascript typed array javascript typed arrays are array like object uh, that provide a mechanism for reading and writing row binary data from memory buffer now let's understand this uh, in this way imagine you have a 16 byte buffer so one byte is equal to 8 bit right so we can store 16 number of 8 bit in 16 byte buffer we can store uh, 8 number of 16 bit and we can store uh, 4 number of 32 bit and we can store 2 number of 64 bit in 16 byte buffer now uh, tables are just like array in web assembly in array uh, we have different slots so we can store different functions at particular slot so uh, for example this is index 0 we can store function f1 at index 1 we can store function f2 and index 2 we can store function f3 so uh, tables are used to store functions in web assembly last thing we have is instance so instance is combination of all these guys instance is combination of module memory and tables now let's start with a very basic example i'm 100 percent sure that you are all familiar with this code so i have just one file in my project directory which is hello world.c and i'm just displaying this hello world message now uh, if you have worked with me in gw then you might familiar with compiler like gcc and g++ those compiler used to compile uh, c c++ program into executable file so now let's run this program into our system before compiling this uh, C code into WebAssembly. So we can use GCC or G++. So type GCC, provide name of input file and use this flag. Use this flag dash O and finally type name for executable file then hit enter. 
as you can see we have one more file in our project directory and we can run this file by just typing uh, dot forward slash name of the executable file then hit enter as you can see we uh, so hello world program is displayed in our terminal now uh, let's see what are different steps involved when we want to compile this program into WebAssembly. but first i request you to download emstk because Using EMSDK, we can write different scripts in our terminal to compile C, C++ program. If you want to download uh, EMSDK in the releases section, you will find all the different version. Uh, to download the latest version, hit this top link. There you can download source code for EMSDK. So I have already downloaded EMSDK. After downloading, uh, provide the path of this uh, EMSDK into your environment variable so you can use emsdk from wherever you want in environment variables uh, so in system variables you'll find this path variable just click on new and paste that uh, that path here so i have already added path for emsdk then I hit ok three times now we can use emsdk from wherever we want all right now uh, let's compile this program into WebAssembly, and after that we'll see how we can instantiate our WebAssembly module and eventually we can run that module in our web browser so just like we did in gcc uh, type uh, okay first let me tell you a few things uh, now how uh, this e msdk work so we are writing low level language so we so we are writing our program in low level language like c c++ so uh, we are importing different header file from mscripton uh, in order to uh, use different header file from mscripton first we need to set an environment for mscripton right so uh, the first command we are going to use is emsdk activate it will activate mscripton environment after that we can use emcc program so uh, emcc program is just like gcc it take input file and produce some output so let's see how it work so first let's start by activating the environment for amp script and type emstk activate it will activate for, uh, for environment it will activate the environment so type emcc add name of input file and we can use this flag dash and finally type name of output file for now let's just run this command emcc hello world.c as you can see uh, it is generating two files one is a.out.js and another is webassembly file what happen if i run this uh, output file uh, javascript file using node.js so type node.out.js as you can see it is also uh, displaying hello world but problem with this javascript file is it contain 200 lines of code i mean in order to uh, run hello world it contains 200 lines of code so we don't need this javascript file why we don't need this javascript file because this javascript file which is randomly generated by emsdk is first inst uh, instantiating this binary code and then using all the functionality we have added in c c++ in our web browser so what we're gonna do we'll create our own javascript file to instantiate this WebAssembly module and then we can use all those functionality we have provided in c c++ so obviously we are not going to use 200 lines of code okay so it was very simple program now let's see how we can instantiate a WebAssembly module the way our system can understand executable file in similar fashion web browser can understand wasm file so we no longer need this automatically generated javascript file so we have deleted that file for now let's delete this wasm file also because we are going to recompile this new uh, c program into wasm file okay so one more thing in this hello world program we have this main entry file so what i'm scripting does and scripton only compile this main entry file and whatever code present in inside this main file it ignore all the definitions and functions in rc program so in order to keep this function alive we need to add this mscripton header file here type 
keep alive it will keep this function alive so we can compile this add.c into wasm file so type emcc add.c and output file is add.wasm use this flag no entry because there is no main file that is why we are adding this no entry flag and in order to uh, ensure that no javascript file is created type uh, dash s wasm equal to zero now hit enter so add dot wasm file is created and we can instantiate this file in order to instantiate let's create one more file which is index.js file so in this javascript file we are going to read this web assembly file so here we can instantiate wasm file now uh, the question is how we can how our javascript file can read this wasm file so this wasm file contain bytes which is compiled c c++ program so javascript provide web assembly so javascript provide web assembly javascript apis which we can use i have already talked about what instances memories are and tables are obviously we cannot discuss everything in one video so in this video only thing we are focusing on is how we can instantiate this wasm module in order to instantiate this wasm module we are going to use webassembly dot instantiate property so first let's fetch add dot wasm now we'll convert the response from this file into the byte so use so it returns us webassembly byte then these bytes are consumed by webassembly api webassembly dot instantiate as you can see we do not have to install anything from for webassembly because javascript supports webassembly okay so pass these bytes it expects one more function which is i mean it expects one more thing which is import object for now let's just type empty object finally we have wasm wasm module so let's see what this wasm module contains so console.log wasm module all right create one more file which is index file in that javascript file we are all set now we can run this index.html file okay so in console we are getting this error module is not an object why we are getting this error i have already talked about web assembly memory so for our program we need some memory right okay so what is web assembly memory web assembly memory is a linear memory so this memory has access to both web assembly and javascript okay so how we can create this web assembly memory you will find this web assembly so you will find this memory object we can use this web assembly dot memory so let's create let let's copy this code now uh, in this let's just add initial equal to 1 so initial equal to 1 means we are uh, creating just one page of memory one page of memory is equal to 64 kilobyte okay so one more thing let's define the import object which we are going to pass here In this import object we need to define this child object env which stand for environment here we can pass this memory object so pass it like this now instead of using empty object use this import object okay if i open console i get new error okay initial size so uh, import is smaller than initial size I think it require initial size of 256 okay now uh, let's add maximum value also
now it is returning us web assembly module so this module contain two thing one is instance and another is module so in this instance we have this export uh, export object in export object we have this add function so now we can call this function from javascript okay, so we can call this function from javascript so was a module contain instance object in this instance object we have this export object in this export object we have this add function so in this add function we can pass two parameters okay, so let's add two and three if i save this okay, let me refresh it console is not a function okay console.log i'm sorry what's going on okay as you can see so we have called that function which we have defined in c program so this video is just an introduction about how we can use m script and, and how we can uh, how we can instantiate web assembly module so in future videos i am going to explain uh, more advanced things.